Hi there, so uh, I'm Roland Johnson. I um, am one of the founders of Nestitude. Um, I guess my background historically was in pen testing and compliance, and I guess uh, as it stands today, I, I lead the Nestitude group of companies. Uh, back in January this year, I was also appointed to the Crest Executive. So uh, trying to put something back into the community uh, that we're all within. So I'm not sure that there is such a thing as an average day, but typically, I guess, uh, I'm in the office for around about eight o'clock. Uh, catching up on emails between 8 and 9.30. Typically, uh, there'll be a series of internal meetings up till lunchtime, um, and this after, in, in the afternoon, it will be frequently having conversations with our US team who come on board after 2 o'clock. Um, typically, I'll leave the office around about 7 o'clock, and most evenings, uh, I'll be sitting having a cup of tea, writing documents and emails, etc., probably till at the time I turn in at about 10 o'clock. So I guess we've been doing this for 10 years. Uh, I have to say, I love the industry that we work in. Uh, I love the fact that it's really, really fast moving. Uh, the kind of things that we're talking about today are very, very different to the things we're talking about eight, six months or 12 months ago. So um, I like the fact that we're in an industry that's really growing and, and it's exciting. And so uh, I look back uh, to when I was back at university, I almost ended out in accounting and finance and I'm really pleased that I didn't and I ended up in a, in a world of security and pen testing. I would say definitely need to put in the hours of uh, research and training and do a lot of reading. So go out and, and find some information out on the internet about security, uh, about how you can find uh, vulnerabilities, how you might use some tools and techniques to try and exploit environments. But don't just assume it's all focused around technology. In our experience, what makes a really good pen tester is somebody that has some good commercial skills in conjunction with some good technical skills. So the kind of things that we look for when we're going out to recruit are those strong technical skills we talked about a moment ago, but also really good communication skills. So the ability to engage with C-level execs uh, and network security people to talk about risk and not just focus on the technical nitty-gritty nitty vulnerabilities that might exist.